So today we are here with Father Charles, Father Charles Carl Reynolds, so we're going to call him Charles. And my name is Melissa Wood, and I have with me Anna. Hi. Two of us have the privilege of working as interns at the Barbados Museum Historical Society. And when we first came on board as an intern, we kind of thrown into this particular project, um, the Black Presence. And I have to say it was really enjoyable because it was an experience that we both never had before, you know. And we weren't really expecting it because we're like, okay, we want to work with you, but, you know, we don't know exactly what we want us to do. And this was a pretty major project as the first thing you know, off the bat, essentially. For both Anissa and I, this was a very serendipitous um, experience. And we both came into it not really working together before or with a big project with the museum and we were both very lucky to work amongst your collection and this exhibition and creating it and I was curious to know how your relationship with the museum was formed and how both of you all came together to create this exhibition. Well one of the reasons for putting the collection together was not just as a as a private pursuit but really trying to to get these imagery get these images and the stories and the characters behind the images and the histories mm -hmm. to be better understood. So getting it into the public forum of a museum was precisely what we were hoping to achieve. And uh, I don't think there was really much twisting of arms that went on. It, it, it was a very nice experience of finding that everyone was quickly on board with the, with, with the opportunity. Um, because it had been exhibited in London before, we knew that there was an appetite for this, for this type of imagery. And there was about a six month period uh, between the end of that exhibition and the beginning of this. And the uh, number of prints, accessions to, to the collection increased. So there was even more motivation for, for, for wishing to get the, uh, the images out there and the stories told. And of course, many of the images are of people who lived in the West Indies. And so this is, you know, th th these are people coming home, really. And so that, that, that was going to be, uh, you know, part of, of what it was to bring it here. But of course, this, this museum, as you know, has a high international reputation. I mean, it has, has a highly regarded archive and collection. And therefore, to be able to bring these two uh, collections together so they're in conversation with each other, informing each other because the history of art is always the study of fa fragments and you're trying to put the fragments together, you know, one picture helps you to understand another and so bringing the collection here, putting it alongside the fantastic collection of this museum was just, you know, an opportunity certainly not to be missed. Yeah. And we can say that we really appreciated the opportunity to do this because we had the chance to do research behind each individual piece and the stories yeah. that were behind the individuals of yeah. each project were stories that we never heard of. Yeah. yeah. And it was exciting really to know that these people, people of um, black heritage and, and were able to be an agent, you know, yeah. and to accomplish these things at a time that was really difficult for them, you know, people of that race, you know, and to you know, find out about these stories, I kind of wondered, like, you know, why have we never heard of this, you know, this really should be part of the stories that yeah. we are being taught, and that's one of the reasons why I thought that this was a really special exhibition, to have it being shown to the public and having those stories told. Well, of course, in the 18th century and into the early 19th century, the West Indies was the economic centre of the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's not surprising that it was this part of the world that was um, producing a market. There was a lot of interest in Europe, in North America, as well as locally, for this sort of imagery. Mm -hmm. That's true. So then, when you think of bring it to now, though, how does, for you, these prints become relevant um, to the community here, to the um, social climate that's happening right now in the world? How is it relevant? 
Well, I'm a collector, and and uh, I mean, I I I felt that here are stories you you've you've spoken about your surprise really, yeah. and wondering why didn't I know about these people? And there is something very exciting about not only learning someone's history, but actually being able to look at them eye to eye and seeing something of their character in it in their face, it, you know, in, in the story that you can see coming from their expression, the way in which they are, the, they are portrayed. And so I think in the present climate, we're recovering a lot. There's, there's a lot of t talk of, of, of cultural reparation, of being able to, to tell the story again, to tell it with honesty, you know, the, the, the hard history that it is, as well as the wonderful creative and redemptive side you know, because a lot of these people lived excruciatingly hard lives, and yet, as the exhibition title is, they retained agency, and they, they, they were able to contribute in extraordinary ways as sportsmen, as historians, as politicians, as writers, composers. There's a whole variety. I mean, no one here in these images is a cliché. You know, every, everyone is an individual, and, and I think that's what's so surprising about it, because we've got so used to looking at people in a cliched way and then you go back to a way of being able to look at people on their own terms. Definitely, yeah. And you say it's like a, a shaking up to those histories that we've been told um, and asking questions of, of what else can be told about this particular person. That's what the exhibition does lead to. It doesn't as I say or go along the, the common track common train of thought that we usually have when it comes to historical stories but ask other questions and pull these other possibilities and the way that it engages with the like your collection the museum's collection is really really intriguing mm -hmm.